Hello, friends, and welcome to Encouragement for today. Rays of hope for these gloomy, dark days of unrest that we find ourselves in at this particular time. Well, friend, let me invite you to pick up your copy of God's Precious Word and turn with me over to the book of Psalms, God's Songbook. The book of Psalms, and we want to look at Psalm number 34. And we'll begin our reading in verse number 17. Beautiful words this morning. That can certainly be a pick-me-up to carry us through these dark times. Listen to the word of God. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite heart. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Friends, I don't know about you, but those words bless the old preacher's heart this morning. I lost another friend to COVID uh, last night. Uh, one that uh, was unexpected, really. The pandemic and plague is running wild. But friend, we serve a God that is strong and is living. Listen to the words again. The righteous cry. Friend, if there's ever been a time that you and I need to cry out to God, we're living in that time right now. We're seeing so much death and sickness in our land because of this plague and other diseases. Till, uh, as a fellow said to me yesterday, preacher, these are scary times. Well, they can be if we allow fear to invade our soul. But these should be some of the most rejoicing times that we've ever had because the Bible is fulfilling itself right in front of our face. The righteous cry. Cry out to God in prayer like you've never cried out before. Listen to this. Boy, this blesses my soul. When the righteous cry out, the Bible says here, the Lord heareth. Praise God. Friend, I'm going to tell you something. It's great to know that we serve a God that hears our prayer. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and he hears our prayer. The righteous cry, the Lord heareth, listen, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Now, friend, listen to me. We would have the Lord to deliver us physically today. That's our greatest desire, that this plague that has hit our land, that it will just be ultimately destroyed. That's our prayer. But you know, friend, God's ways are so much higher than ours. Uh, it broke my heart this morning whenever uh, I heard about... Uh, a dear friend that I pastored a number of years ago that went to be with the Lord. In one way, my spirit is broken and my heart is heavy and I grieve with the family because I have compassion and love for them. But yet there's still a sparkle of uh, rejoicing in me for the Lord has delivered that one out of all their troubles. The Bible says to be absent from the bodies to be present with the Lord. And friend, if this precious one that I'm speaking of didn't make it, I'm in trouble because this one loved the Lord with all their heart. And uh, the Bible says precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. And when we cross from this life to the next, we enter a land where there's no suffering and no sorrow. The Lord will deliver whether he delivers in the physical or whether he moves us into the spiritual realm, the righteous cry, 
and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as of a contrite heart. Friend, God loves us, and when we're broken hearted, God knows that our spirit is crushed, and he'll do everything in his power to pick us up. And uh, so depend on that. The Lord is near unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite or a crushed spirit. Verse 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. You know, I wish that I could tell you that you wouldn't ever be afflicted in this life. So many people think that when they get saved by the grace of God that all their troubles are over. Friend, the fact is it might be that troubles just begin because the devil, like a roaring lion, is seeking those in whom he may devour. And he certainly wants to devour you if you're a child of God. So many are the afflictions of the righteous, but listen to this. But the Lord, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Friends, there's victory in Jesus. And he will give us that victory as we cry out to him. Thank God he hears our cry. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for loving us. And thank you for this beautiful thought this morning from Psalm 34, reminding us that though we may go through trials and tribulations and have troubles, that if we just cry out to you, that you hear and you deliver. Thank you for being our deliverer and being a God who hears. In Jesus' name, amen. Friend, I pray these few words has uh, encouraged you. I pray they have encouraged you as they have me. What a blessing to know that we have a God that hears. And friend, if you found encouragement in this today, share it to your page so that others can find encouragement as well, so that your friends may be able to hear it. And listen, if you don't want to share it to your page, be an encourager today. This world needs somebody, someone, to encourage them. And the great encourager is the Lord. So encourage somebody today by sharing a ray of hope with them. The light of Jesus that shines forevermore. God bless you and have a wonderful day.